But let's see what um, the experts uncovered and what they found. So, I don't get to watch Vatagar or Noodle. It's really nice to see two of them right there, right next to each other. Oh, wow. I really want to see Sappho's Canadian girlfriend or boyfriend. But instead, I'll watch CKBNIM. We're just going to call them CK for short. I'm going to go at two times speed and do I want to lower the volume of the music just because it'll be at two times? No, that's as low as I can get it. Okay. So let's go back. All right. So he does essentially the same path as I do, except he doesn't go and check to see what does that crack? Ooh! No. There is a blood weapon thing right there. Or like the ring of peace. Oof. That's what I get for like trying to head down. I mean, I don't. I don't fault myself for not using this method. Because, um. As you can see, even the expert's having a hard time luring him over there. Like, I'm not expert in level enough to be manipulating bosses into uh, cracks or into stores. So I'm never going to put myself at that level. But what I am going to say is that I should have definitely explored the first floor. I just was scared of something small killing me. Like, you know, a red bat, which is exactly what happened to me. But here he is. He went for the blast helm as well. So not surprised by that choice. I thought about taking the teleportation crown, but like, let's be real, ain't gonna do me much favors. And then we got this guy killing everything in sight, I'm assuming for the gold score, and also just for the monies, which is essentially the same thing now that I said it out loud. Killing the zombie, killing everything, buffering to kill the red spirit. I love seeing the smoothness of like killing the blue slimes. Like that was done real smooth. Now is he gonna blow up this area right here? No, he used the Shrine of Peace. Interesting. You think with the Shrine of Peace, you wouldn't want to use it when you're going for a high score gold run because the more enemies you kill, the more gold you get. But maybe CK has some like really awesome strategy that I don't know about. We'll see what they do. Alrighty, CK is doing the same strategy as I did, except much smarter. They cleared up a good path for the Red Dragon. And, um, of course they take it to another level. Because they want to bring the dragon into the shop. I'm assuming they want to attack the shopkeeper. That's what all these high-level players do. They attack the poor shopkeep. And they just scare him away from the shop so they can get all the stuff for free. I definitely want to try this one day, but like, I also fear that I'm going to get like, absolutely slaughtered. So, maybe one day in the future. Are they not? Yeah, they're not allowed to hit the shopkeep, because if they hit the shopkeep, it's over for them. And they want to still maintain a good relationship with the shopkeep. Now let's see here, they're going to kill everything else though. Or not. I guess they're valuing speed. Oh, okay. So I died for nothing. That barrel had no food in it. Just gold. That's upsetting. Ooh. I would have loved those items at the blood shop. And I guess this player just isn't having it. They didn't take the staff. Interesting. I guess because they're going for... Oh, they're trans... Yeah. Makes sense. And they're going to attack the shopkeep. Get the blood drum? Or not? Guess they want cheaper shops? I mean, admittedly, I probably wouldn't have wanted to go after the whip either. Just because... 
I don't like the L-shaped attack pattern. But I still like having blood weapons. It's just a preference. What's really nice about, like, uh, the mace is, uh, What is it called? A knockback? Cause, like, no enemies can go towards you while you have that knockback damage. That's awesome. Oh, if I just survived a little bit longer, I would have had all these awesome items. So I'm assuming here that CK is leaving all this gold out because CK is trying to lure the leprechaun. That's the only reason I could think that CK is just letting all this money sit out here. What is CK up to? Guess just waiting for Leprechaun. Is CK gonna attack those shopkeep? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, that was definitely the right play. Uh, do they not... Are they not trying to go for Leprechaun? Did they want to kill the shopkeep first? Before getting the Crown of Greed? I guess that's what they wanted to do. Props to CK. Maybe the Leprechaun needs more money to come out. But it's really cool seeing the money counter go down because of that crown. Alright. So we're playing chess. Wonder what the strategy is. I guess just going straight for the king. And also collecting the gold. Nice, nice. What are you going to try to go for a better weapon? Nope. Oh, you're not even going to take the tome. Interesting. I guess, is there a disadvantage to having a tome? I wouldn't think so. I mean, it's a free, like, spell. It's not like... CK had a different spell. But okay. Not gonna question CK and what CK does. CK seems to know what they're doing. Alright, are they gonna blow anything up? Oh no, they're waiting to... to get money so that way they can break the barrel. Of course. Oh, scroll of need. I wonder what it will turn stuff into. Let's see what TK uses it for. Ooh, the pulse tone. Wonder what that does. Alrighty. Gonna kill the shopkeep again? Yep. Oh yeah, it attacks diagonally. There you go. I answered my own question. I remember having it and like absolutely hating the way it attacks. Alrighty. And I guess they're not gonna go to the shopkeep because there's no items for them since they killed the shopkeep so early in their run. But I guess they have everything they need. They don't need anything from the shop. Except for maybe like a gold ring, I'm assuming. Cause I'm sure they would like a gold ring. And then what are they going to get here? Nothing. Absolutely so amazing that they're just destroying everything in their path. What I haven't seen them do yet is that they haven't been blowing up shop walls. But I guess I spoke too soon. Is the bomb charm what enables them to blow up more walls? If so, that's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Very cool. They're set for their run. I think the only thing they really need to have a good or have a better run is that they need to have a pair of boots. And I mean, they're an amazing player, so they probably don't need a pair of boots. But I feel like that's what they're missing. 
And I guess more more strength, right? Why not? They got the strength charm. They are pretty set. Once again, these players, they know what they're doing. They know what they need. And then when they get everything they need, they just kill the shopkeep. That's what these high score runs are about. Ooh. They took damage and now they lost their shovel. But they can still use it? Is there any disadvantages to using a shard as your shovel? I don't know. But yeah, they're definitely not going to take that long sword. They're happy. I wonder if they're going to try to blow up that wall. But it looks like they're not. Nah, they're just focusing on killing enemies. Kud more kudos to them, you know? They know what they want. Slime monster didn't get in their way. They have their doppelganger. Ooh, they're not scared of nothing. I wonder how they're gonna handle the box. Oh no, they... See, I thought they were gonna just use the gold. But I guess they're just gonna save it for later. That's also a very valid strategy. I need to start doing that. Like, the whole strategy of pushing the barrel down the next floor. Because that automatically breaks the barrel. You just have to remember to look for it when you go down to the next floor. Which I'm sure, you know, CK's not going to forget. Now let's see what they do here. Are you going to get try to... Uh, no, they're not going to try for a pair of boots. They're just trying for a shovel. Okay, cool. A blood shovel? Oh, okay, for the... Yeah. Yeah, that's what you would do. Yeah, that seems like the right play. And now they're just getting so much money. And then they got that little spirit buddy. Are they gonna go? Yeah, they're gonna go here. Sad face. Ooh, Ring of Shadows. But they don't need that because they already killed the shopkeep. Now here, I know that the gorilla is not going to leave his throne until all the enemies are killed. Which now I know, but before I didn't. He apparently only attacks when you mess up on a beat or when you kill all of his conga lion dancers. So now they don't have boots, which is fine. They don't need boots. But they're going to be stumbling away on the ice floor if they're not careful. Which, you know, they're not bothering. They're not scared of ice. And why should they be? Woo! Look at them handle all of this like a true boss. Now I heard the boss. The boss I think is up there somewhere? We're about to see. That knockback is awesome though. And you see some like really experienced buffering happening. Cause they're trying to buffer. Just enough so they can kill the little um, goblins. Are they trying to see... Are they trying to make enough coins for the leprechaun? Yes, they are. I knew they were trying to lure the leprechaun. And they tried to buffer. Look at that. I love seeing some really good buffering.
Nice, nice. Now they're gonna just get rid of all these walls. Surprised that they're not going with the bomb method. But you know, I guess CK doesn't care about having low hearts. I would bomb. That's like the safer way. But I also don't like being low in hearts. It makes me play really, really dangerously. Because I'm like too anxious. So I don't really think critically when I'm in the dungeons. So what are they going to do here? Are they going to try to buffer? Yeah. Yeah, they just used enemies to buffer. Oof. That was a close call. Or at least it looked like a close call. I'm sure, you know, they had it under control. But because they just took a hit, we're just gonna assume that CK just struggled a little bit there. Ooh, and CK's confused. Poor little CK. But it's really cool seeing CK demolish everything in their path. Ooh. Am I ever gonna see a throwing stars? I don't think so. Like, none of the runners really grabs throwing stars, and why should they? They have these awesome, like, weapons that do, like, a ridiculous amount of damage. They don't need throwing stars. I'm gonna probably pick up throwing stars one day. Ooh, don't do that. Yeah, there you go. Oof. That makes me so nervous that they're playing with only half a heart. Like, one hit, they're gone. Ooh. But they, they use the item that gives you what you need. And they got an apple. So, like... Can they heal? That way I can feel a little a less anxious? That would be awesome. Like now they have two opportunities to heal. Can they heal? That would be really cool. Like this is really living dangerously. Maybe they'll heal right before they start attacking um, the shop walls. Maybe. Um, the beetles also have like this really interesting way of attacking. I'm assuming the way they attack is once they get off their um, seasonal tile, they shed their um, their exoskeleton, but I don't know for sure. I'm gonna like maybe try like oh. Okay, so it looks like they stay with their exoskeleton on until they get on their element. Then once they're on their element, they remove that. And I really apologize for like all the yawning. I record these at night after work. I mean, I usually would like to record this immediately after work, but they released the new runs. Like, a couple hours after I clock out. So it's pretty late, and I like to go to bed early. So. If I'm a yawning mess, now you guys know why. Now let's see here. Oh. Whew. How are they not hurting themselves? I guess that's what the bomb charm Cause I'm just here thinking, man, if that was me, I would have died. Oof. I wonder how they got hurt. That happened a little bit too fast for me. And this boss makes me nervous. I know I fought him recently and I was like, freaking out. Like, I was hit hitting him where his shield was. But, like, I get so angsty and so nervous. 
All right. So I have never played on this floor. But one day, one day I will. And I think immediately as soon as I do play on this floor, I'm going to die to a parrying guy. Um, parrying looks... doesn't look too difficult. But it does look like something that I will struggle with. Can I imagine it's like you hit them and then you jump up to uh, dodge their parry. But I'm not too sure. It might be something worth me practicing in a practice mode. But like that also takes away the fun from like kind of learning as I go. I just need to be able to get this far consistently. Which may or may not happen anytime soon. Alrighty, so what's, let's see this riches scroll. Will it get them more monies? We are about to find out. And by about to, I mean... We're at the whim of CK. Whether or not CK wants to use it. So CK looks like they're leading um, all the monsters through. Trying to do some monster management here. CK once again is avoiding the piles of gold. Maybe CK is hoping for another leprechaun. Do leprechauns show up even after you've taken their lucky charms? I don't know. But it looks like CK has some hope. So CK here is hurting themselves in the name of gold. So good on CK. CK is anything is very dedicated. That's exactly right. CK is super dedicated to the cause. And here's CK destroying the coffin, destroying a bat, and then going right downstairs. Okay, so that's the Shrine of Risk, and that's why they're taking damage. Okay, cool. That answers my question, because I was like, Why are you getting hurt all the time, buddy? But I guess it was a Shrine that they used. Woof! Yeah, they look like they're dodging the parrying. And the other guy just drops a bomb. I'm assuming the bomb shouldn't hurt you because you have the bomb charm, but could be wrong about that. And I'm okay with that. If I ever get here, I'll try to be careful about that, but uh, I make no promises. I got killed by Red Bat today, so I'm really in no situation to be talking about what I will or will not do. Okay, so they fought against a spider. They fought against a statue. Woof! They took some damage there. Very interesting. Are they gonna blow that shrine up? Maybe? Or maybe they'll just leave it alone because it's like an obsidian sh shrine. Which I think is- oof! Look at CK taking damage. Alright, CK. I see you. Are you gonna try to, like, distract him? Is there, like, a strategy in which you just let that thing continue summoning, like, skeletons so you can, like, farm money? I'm sure someone has done it before. I haven't, because I haven't been down here. But it has to be a legitimate strategy in which you let the coffin sit there so you can like shrine, um, so you can like farm the skeletons. But it might not be worth the money that you lose for every single step that you're um, on the board. So maybe it is one of those things like uh, diminishing returns. Because, like, CK is losing money for every single step that they take. But, like, 
CK easily makes that money back by, like, destroying the shop walls. And look at all those insta-kills. Alrighty, so... Kicking butt. Taking names, kicking butt. They took the monocle for a brief second. And they blew it up, because they're like, this is a piece of trash. Why do I need this? Nice. Nice parry. Nice parry. Woof! Nice use of the fire spell. Okay. Yeah, they're not farming that. You know, you think of all the ways that these um, high scores um, farm gold. You'd think they'd farm the skeletons. There has to be a reason they don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really do like this boss. This boss has such really cool rhymes and beats and rhythm. Love the boss. Ooh. Getting some monies. Staying on the yellow path so they can attack multiple enemies. We love to see it. We love to see someone being really strategic. Ooh, Ring of Might. That's nice. But I don't think they'll take it. I think the only ring they'll be willing to take is, um... The Gold Ring? Yeah, they're gonna take the Gold Ring. For now, they're happy with their ring. Are they gonna blow this shrine up? Well, no, because that's the use of their bomb, which they could use to get money, so... They're just gonna leave it alone. Which is fine. Now let's see here. Sell one of your items? I don't think they're gonna sell anything. Like, I would've sold for boots. Oh no, sell one of my items. Um... What would've I sold? I don't know. I maybe would've sold the spell. But I think eventually they'll use their spell of riches. Maybe. We'll see. So they got their bombs. They got the Mitar there. And then... They got those teleporting guys, too. It's interesting. He makes, like, eye contact with you and then, like, just tries to kill you. Alrighty, now you're gonna destroy those walls. Yeah, you are. I noticed that they're not going so heavy with the blood shovel. And I think it's just because of, one, how far they are. So they don't need to rely on such dangerous ways. But, like, they also have to make sure they have some, like, um, buffer. They did use their scroll. Which is good. They also need to have that, um... That availability to lose health because of their shrine. Ooh, ballet shoes. Nice. Now they'll never miss a beat. That is really good for their coin multiplier. The guy teleports to them. Ooh, shopkeeper familiar. Nice. No idea what that does, but I assume maybe it collects gold for them? Maybe? I know Familiars, I... Well, I don't know. I think Familiars are like a DS, DLC item. And I'm not very familiar with the DLC stuff. Alrighty. So they have the little metronome, and then they have the ice dragon.
I wonder why the Ice Dragon is considered more difficult to beat than the Fire Dragon. I imagine it's because if you get hit once with the Ice Dragon, you'll die. But like, I feel like with the Fire Dragon's Fire Breath, you're also going to die too. So I don't know. I don't think the Ice Dragon is as scary as the Fire Dragon. Okay. Nice. What? Now all they have are cursed hearts? Is that good? Are they gonna eat an apple? They they did, maybe? I mean, they still have an apple in their inventory, so I don't think they ate the apple. Why are all their hearts cursed now? Okay. Oof. Those are two Mimics. What a whammy. I'll definitely die to a Mimic. I have to. Like, it doesn't make sense I die to, like, other things and not it be a Mimic. I definitely do think the shopkeeper helps you pick up money. Yeah, it looks like it's helping pick up money. Are you hoping for Leprechaun? Maybe? Okay. They now have two normal hearts and the rest of their hearts are, are cursed. Ooh. More gold. More money. Ooh, bag of holding, but they don't want that. They all, all they want is more gold. Which is fine by them. Oof. How? Usually I've seen them attack all four bells, but um, I mean, go CK. You know what you're doing, CK, so like, If, C if CK wants to do this a quick way, you know, I ain't gonna stop CK from living their best life. I guess CK is also not worried about going to the other platform with Daddy. They're just, they're just out for blood here at this point. Alright, let's see. Let's see what you do. I mean, I'm happy to see that the CK is dodging all the attacks. And CK got those coins and CK won their run. No glitches here. So, thank you so much for watching another run. I hope that you had fun, as much fun as I did by watching CK's run. And I'm going to do my new sign-off. So, remember, you are loved. Bye.